journey back with us to a time of ancient kingdoms and legendary rulers, to the 10th century BC. Picture a world where the rise and fall of kingdoms were the norm, and power was the ultimate currency. In the Middle East, the Kingdom of Israel was reaching its zenith, under the rule of King Solomon, renowned for his wisdom and wealth. His reign was marked by peace and prosperity, a golden age for Israel. Meanwhile, far to the south in the land of Sheba, present-day Yemen and Ethiopia, another kingdom was flourishing. Trade routes crisscrossed this region, bringing in wealth and fostering a vibrant culture. The Queen of Sheba, a woman of mystery and power, ruled over this prosperous kingdom. The 10th century BC was a time of dynamic change and growth. Political alliances were formed and broken, economies thrived, and societies evolved. In the heart of this era, two iconic figures emerged, casting long shadows over history, King Solomon of Israel and the enigmatic Queen of Sheba. The Queen of Sheba, a figure shrouded in mystery, was born into this world of ancient power struggles and alliances. Born into a world of wealth and wisdom, she ascended to the throne at a young age, proving herself as a capable and wise ruler. Her kingdom, often identified as Saba in Southern Arabia, flourished under her reign, becoming a hub of trade and culture in the ancient world. Her wisdom wasn't just a product of royal education, but a reflection of her innate curiosity and intelligence. Known for her wealth, she wasn't just rich in gold and precious stones, but in knowledge and understanding of the world. Her prosperous reign was marked by an effective administration, just laws, and flourishing trade. Yet her fame wasn't confined to her own kingdom. Stories of her wisdom, wealth, and the prosperity of her kingdom spread far and wide, making her a figure of fascination and admiration. She was a leader of note, a queen whose fame reached far beyond her own lands. Word of King Solomon's wisdom and wealth reached Queen Sheba's ears, sparking her curiosity and leading her on a journey to Jerusalem. And so, the stage was set for one of the most fabled encounters in history. The queen, intrigued and skeptical, decided to test King Solomon's famed wisdom. She arrived in Jerusalem with a grand caravan laden with spices, gold, and precious stones. It was a gift fit for a king indeed, but it was also a riddle. Each item bore a symbolic meaning, a question hidden within, a test of Solomon's insight and discernment. Picture this, an opulent court, the air heavy with exotic scents, and two of history's most enigmatic figures locked in a battle of wits. The queen put forth her riddles, probing the depths of Solomon's wisdom. They ranged from questions about nature to intricate enigmas about governance and morality. And King Solomon? He met each question with patience and intellect, unraveling the mysteries presented to him. His answers not only revealed his wisdom, but also showed his understanding of the world, of people, of justice, and of the divine. The dialogue between the king and the queen, as recorded in historical texts, is a testament to their mutual respect and intellectual prowess. It was a meeting of minds that transcended the barriers of their kingdoms. The queen's gifts, meanwhile, were not just tokens of wealth. They were a recognition of Solomon's wisdom. The spices represented the variety and complexity of the world. The gold symbolized purity and incorruptibility, and the precious stones stood for the multifaceted nature of wisdom. This encounter left a profound impact on the queen. She saw in Solomon a king who was not just wise, but also just and God-fearing. The queen, who had arrived with questions and skepticism, departed with admiration and respect. Impressed by his wisdom, the queen left Jerusalem, taking with her not just gifts, but a newfound respect for Solomon. This meeting, steeped in history and shrouded in mystery, remains a fascinating chapter in the annals of royal diplomacy. While some regard her as a myth, there are historical and archaeological evidences that hint at the existence of the Queen of Sheba. Delving into history, we find references to the Queen of Sheba in religious texts such as the Bible, the Quran, and the Ethiopian holy book, the Kebra Nagast. These texts describe her as a powerful and wise queen who ruled a wealthy kingdom. The Bible, for instance, recounts her visit to King Solomon to test his wisdom, suggesting a diplomatic relationship between their kingdoms. Digging deeper, we come across ancient inscriptions. A Sabaean inscription, found in modern-day Yemen, mentions a queen by the name of Karib Ilu, a title which translates to the soul of the people. This title resonates with the biblical description of the Queen of Sheba, a monarch who was deeply loved and respected by her subjects. Finally, our journey takes us to the realm of archaeology. The ruins of the ancient city of Merib, once the capital of the Sabaean kingdom, have yielded artifacts and inscriptions that hint at the reign of a powerful queen. These pieces of evidence, while not definitive, certainly build a compelling case for the existence of the Queen of Sheba. 
They paint a picture of a strong, wise, and influential leader, a woman who left an indelible mark on the annals of history. These tantalizing clues give us a glimpse into the life and times of this legendary queen. The Queen of Sheba, a woman of power and wisdom, left a lasting imprint on history. Her legacy transcends time and geography, echoing through the centuries in tales told and retold across diverse cultures and religions. From the parchments of the Bible to the scrolls of the Quran, from the Ethiopian epic Kebra Nagast to the Jewish Talmud, her story has been woven into the fabric of human lore. Each rendition highlights her wisdom, her diplomatic acumen, and her boldness. A woman who dared to journey across deserts and mountains to seek knowledge from King Solomon, one of the wisest men of his time. The encounter between Sheba and Solomon has been immortalized in art, literature, and music, underscoring the significance of their meeting. It's seen as a symbol of diplomatic alliance, a testament to the pursuit of wisdom, and even as a romantic liaison that resulted in a dynasty, the Solomonic dynasty of Ethiopia, which claims descent from their union. Her story has been a beacon for women throughout history, a testament to the power of intellect and charisma, and a reminder that wisdom knows no gender. From her, generations of women have drawn strength and inspiration, challenging the status quo and breaking barriers in their own right. In the end, whether fact or fiction, the Queen of Sheba remains a powerful symbol of a woman's strength, wisdom, and influence in a man's world.